Hello friends, uh, now we'll do a quick recap of abdominal wall defects in pediatric surgery. So starting with gastroschisis, uh, it's a most common anomaly who are born to mothers less than 20 years of age. Now defect mostly right side of the umbilical cord and uh, usually around 4 cm or less than 4 cm. Intestinal herniation as you can see in the picture, it's not covered, it's uh, exposed not covered with any layer, any amniotic layer or peritoneum or even the skin. So bowel changes are seen in gastroschisis. It's found non-rotated and foreshortened and because of uh, this, there is very high risk for mesenteric volvulus. The concomitant congenital anomalies are rare, less than 10%. Now the treatment uh, for small defects, we can do a primary closure, just reduce the bowel inside and primary facial closure. For larger defects, we have to cover the defect with some prosthetic patch, mostly Goretex patch is used, which is nothing but the biomaterial that is EPTFE, that is polytetrafluoroethylene. If viscera cannot be reduced, the defect is too big, the viscera is edematous, bowel, you cannot put it back. So best is place a silo around it and gradually reduce it uh, serially over a period of 5 to 7 days and once it is reduced, then secondary facial closure is done. I'll show you the picture. That's a silo bag. That's how it looks like. So that's placed around the defect covering the bowel to protect it. And uh, you can see every uh, few hours we reduce it gradually. And over a period of five to seven days, we achieve the complete reduction. Now, omphalocele or exomphalos defect here, it's bigger. In gastroschisis, it was uh, less than 4. Here, it is more than 4. Uh, defect uh, in uh, omphalocell is in central abdomen, whereas it was right side of the umbilical cord in gastroschisis. Another point of difference is uh, in omphalocell, the prolapsed bowel is covered by some covering. It has a membranous sac, though there is no skin, but still it does have, as in the picture you can see, it's covered with a membranous sac, which is composed of outer amniotic layer and inner peritoneal layer. The Another difference, the risk of congenital anomalies is very high. It was less than 10% in gastroschisis. It's more than 50% uh, in uh, omphalocele. The associated anomalies may be backward vitamin syndrome. You have read in uh, renal chapter. The chromosomal anomalies like 13, 15, 18 and 21 are commonly seen. Other associated anomalies, exostrophy of bladder or cloaca, pentology of cantrile and cardiac defects such as VSD that is ventricular septal defect. Now the treatment is more or less similar to gastroschisis, only one or two points are different. The primary closure, same, small to medium size defect. For larger defect, similar prosthetic patch closure, PTFE, that is Goretex patch closure. We can also use porcine subintestinal mucosa derived, submucosa derived um, biomaterial. We can use skin flap closure technique and silo reduction, same as uh, we discussed with gastroschisis. Giant on fellow seal, we can use topical uh, ascaritic agents like uh, betadine ointment, povidone iodine or mercurochrome or silver nitrate. The idea behind applying the ascaritic agents is gradually uh, the epithelization uh, happens and the sac gets thickened and then facial closure is relatively easier. Now, the congenital linguinal hernia in the hydrocele. Now, you, all of you uh, know about the peritoneal sac, that's a peritoneum. And when the testis descends down, it brings along with it a fold of peritoneum. This is patent processus vaginalis. Uh, initially, it is communicating with the peritoneal cavity. Gradually, it gets obliterated and completely closed off. But if it remains patent, then bowel from the peritoneal cavity can occur or the omentum. So if bowel or omentum enters, it becomes congenital inguinal hernia. If fluid accumulates in this sac, it becomes a congenital hydrocele. The basic pathology is same, basic cause is same behind both hydrocele and the hernia. The difference is in the content. Now the treatment is we have to close this sac, we have to divide this sac. So treatment of choice, it is since the cause is same, 
ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ चॉइस फॉर बोथ कंजनाइटल इंग्वाइनल हर्निया एज वेल एज हाइड्रोसिल इज सेम हर्नियोटमी एंड वेन फॉर इंग्वाइनल हर्निया हाइड्रोसिल आई टेल यू लेटर फॉर इंग्वाइनल हर्निया इट शुड बी डन एज सुन एज पॉसिबल लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैव बिन आस्ड अबाउट द टाइमिंग ऑफ द सर्जरी इन कंजनाइटल इंग्वाइनल हर्निया इट शुड बी डन दो इफ इट इज नॉट ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड और स्ट्रैंगुलेटेड और इनकारसरेटेड इट शुड बी डन एज एन इलेक्टिव प्रोसीजर बट यू शुड नॉट वेट इट शुड बी डन एज एन वेन इट हैज बीन डायग्नोज सो इन अर्नियोटमी वी डिवाइड द सैक वी क्लोज द प्रोक्सीमल पार्ट एंड दैट्स हाउ द ट्रीटमेंट इज कंप्लीटेड एंड बिफोर दैट वी रिड्यूज द कंटेंट्स इन साइड नाउ फ्यू अदर पॉइंट्स अबाउट कंजनाइटल इंग्वाइनल हर्निया इट्स मोर कॉमन इन प्री मेच्योर न्यू बॉन्स कंपेयर टू मेच्योर न्यू बॉन्स मोर कॉमन ऑन द राइट साइड बिकॉज राइट साइड देर इज अ डिले इन द टेस्टिकुलर डिसेंट ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन परसेंट केसेज कैन बी बायोलैट्रल एंड इट्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑलवेज इन डायरेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ पेटेंट प्रोसेस वेजिनालिस राइट इट्स कमिंग थ्रू द डीप रिंग सो इट्स इन डायरेक्ट इंग्वाइनल हर्निया नाउ रिगार्डिंग द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ कंजेनाइटल हाइड्रोसिल इट इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंट In inguinal hernia, we have to operate as and when they are diagnosed uh, as an elective procedure. But in congenital hydrocele, we have to decide whether it is communicating or non-communicating. Uh, what I mean by this: suppose uh, there is a cut off at this level, but this is patent, so that becomes hydrocele. So there is no communication with the peritoneal cavity, but still hydrocele is there. Other possibilities: it is fully patent, completely patent, and then there is a fluid collection, so that's a communicating hydrocele. right so in communicating hydrocele we have to go for early surgery we have to same herniotomy ligate the sac and divide it in non communicating we can uh, wait because uh, the uh, tract is already cut off there is no communication so there is no risk so we can wait for 2 3 years uh, for this spontaneous resolution and but if it doesn't resolve by 3 years of age then we have to do herniotomy like we have discussed before